So this is a breakthrough moment for me. Um, I've always theorized this being possible, but it wasn't until today that I finally found the right code to get this working and I am so stoked to show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, if you're familiar with Majora's Mask, you know that there's four characters and four characters have their own respective instruments. There's actually a way to change out the instrument sounds that come from each character in Majora's Mask. So each character has a value for their instruments and by swapping these values, we can play their other instruments. But by also increasing and decreasing these values, like it was pretty much an Easter egg hunt just to figure out what value would finally get other instruments that you can't necessarily play at least you know not normally without using codes all right um real quick before we get into this i'm trying to reach my goal of 100 subscribers if we can reach that then i'll do a subscriber special video and a face reveal so if you aren't go ahead hit that subscribe button right now and join my journey to 100 subscribers all right going back to what we were talking about before let me show you what a couple instruments sound like by playing Zelda's Lullaby. Again, these are instruments that you probably do here in the game, but you don't you're not able to play them as a character. So, let's have a jam off. I'd like to put on a show for all of you using instruments from the game and uh, a, a little bit of editing. So, first off, we need a quiet place to rock out. So, let's activate Link during the main menu and just have him keep going forward until he falls off this invisible platform. Uh, give it a little bit of time. That will put us in this beta area where we can find the Skull Kid. He's gonna be one of our little jam buddies. Now I'm gonna make a couple videos and then edit them into Adobe Premiere. Hey, this is a short edit and this, I'm just gonna tell you this sounds like straight ass. There's a one second delay every button push and trying to get this all to work together was really hard. Uh, but here's a finished product. That's the end for this video. Be sure to check out some of my old content and click that subscribe button so you can join my journey to 100 subscribers. I appreciate all the love and support some of y'all have been giving me. It's really been helping me move on with this channel and there's a lot of new things that I'm trying to do differently here. We got a Time Splitters 2 video coming up after this one and we also have an update on the Gibdo project which is going to be a very interesting video as well. So all in all, stay safe and take it easy. Yeah.